What up, Cyber Heroes? I'm Boyd Clues, and welcome to another episode of the Don't Be an IT Guy podcast. And you know, let's just be real, IT guys don't get the bag. Because if you did, you wouldn't be on this channel. So what we're going to talk about today is something that is critical, and we're going to talk about leading. Often people don't realize, if I'm going to make it in my tech career, if I want to get a significant income, I got to lead. So we're going to talk about some attributes and things that you should be looking forward to when it comes to leading. If you're new to the channel, again, I'm Boyd Clues, internationally recognized cybersecurity expert. I help people upgrade their jobs to a six-figure tech career outside of securing businesses around the world in their card payments. If you want to join me on this ride, this journey, like this video, subscribe to the channel so you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to the next level. I'm super excited to get to talk to y'all about this. I was with one of my, my friends today. He reminded me, he was like, Boyd, there was something that you said when you were teaching at TC, you could have just dropped the mic and just walked off. So what I told him is, if you legitimately want to start a business and be successful, you must be a high capacity individual. I'm gonna talk about more what that means throughout this podcast, but what I was telling them is, I have about 50, close to 60 different employees employees, people that work for me, team members. And at one point I was doing every single thing that I hired them for. I was doing a lot of things, which is why, you know, I hired them to lighten my load so I can do other things like make these amazing videos and podcasts for you guys out there. So I want to take y'all on a, a journey real quick and show y'all how being a high capacity individual transform my life and what it has allowed me to do and what it looks like. So I'm going to lead with this um, disclaimer by saying, if you are a person that is allergic to work, this ain't for you, fam. This ain't for you. I've seen a lot of people have aspirations of being financially free, successful, wealthy, but the work ethic of someone that, let's just say he's not going to make that happen. I can't even find the word to describe it. Literally, it ain't in my vocabulary. I don't use the word lazy, but lazy. When I worked at American Airlines as a senior security architect, that was my full-time role there. My job was to travel across the world, training and informing the employees about their responsibility as it pertained to protecting credit card data of the American Airlines customers. American Airlines has 297 airports at the time that I worked there around the world in several different local offices. So I had to do training there. So that was one aspect of my job. It was for me to understand the security framework inside and out, as well as every single credit card data payment channel that American Airlines took. I'm talking about from the point where the customer made the payment to the point where the bank was actually giving us the settlement after that transaction had settled all the points in between, how the data went in the network, out the network, what systems, what geographic locations, it was a lot. Then on top of that, you add the training on what people need to do for their jobs. So I'm talking to people at different airports about the physical device inspection for those kiosks that you go check in that also process credit card payments. Those devices have to be inspected per PCI DSS requirement 9.9 .9 for tampering and substitution in the event that somebody were to add a skimmer to it or actually replace the skimmer with a rogue one. Strange things have happened. Strange things have happened. So you have those gigantic responsibilities on my plate, but then you also have training my team to help me facilitate this work and gather evidence. But then also you have the actual work of working with the security auditors for nine months out of the year to perform a security assessment at American Airlines. Nine months out of the year, traveling to different geolocations, validating that we are indeed compliant. And on top of all that, if you've listened to any of my talks, especially maybe like the previous video, I told you American Airlines was not my only job. I still had a job with a security consulting firm doing security assessments for one of the, the world's largest sports and event ticket processing organization. That position was fully remote, but I did those things simultaneously. And did I make a lot of money? Absolutely. But it was not about the money. That was not the biggest takeaway. The biggest takeaway was knowing what I could do and what I couldn't do. It did get to a point where I had to drop the second contract 
that I had. I completely had to drop it because things at American Airlines just kept growing and growing and growing. So I picked my battles. And the reason why I picked my battles, because notice, if you're paying attention, I told you that I worked at American Airlines as a security architect, but I did not tell you the name of that company I was doing the security assessment for. And you know why? I can't. NDA. Literally, I cannot tell you the name of that company I was doing the security assessment for. So as much as that opportunity prepared me and helped me sharpen my skills, I couldn't leverage it as credibility in a public place because of a contract. American Airlines, I'm on paper as an employee, so I can broadcast that anywhere because it's my job. But as much as I want to use this other thing, I cannot. So what I did was I focused on the opportunity that was going to help me reach my future goals. And because I was able to do the training, the consulting, the architecting of the systems and designs for the payment channels, I knew that I had the capacity for my next role, which was going to become a security consultant for uh, a company based out of Canada. And I was going to have no problem serving multiple clients because I was already training, teaching, doing everything at American Airlines that I was gonna do in my next role. That experience just kept snowballing in a positive way. Sometimes people use snowballs as like a negative type of thing, but this is picking up momentum because in my career, I see myself as this person that can do a lot more. I have the ability, the capacity to take on more work, but I also learned a gift that is way more powerful than taking on more work. And if you're out there and you're trying to step into the position of leadership, this is what it is. It is the power of delegation. Preach somebody. If I was not in this room with another one person, I would hear the congregation screaming. Delegation. You, my friend, can only do so much work. Leadership is about setting the chart, the course, and leading your team to that direction. And fortunately, working at the security company, I had five security consultants reporting directly under me. I had my goals, my metrics, and I was able to lead them to accomplishing those goals. And we had trackable, measurable outcomes that we were hitting, which is the same insight that I took to building Baxter Clewis Cybersecurity and Genesis Security and Compliance. We have measurable actions, measurable plans and goals and in in things that we achieve by leading our team. And it is turned into families, lives being changed and transformed because of the training, lives transformed because of my staff, because we pay our people pretty good, and then generational wealth for me and my family which is something that I could never imagine. And so nobody gave me any of this stuff. It was the skills and things that I've learned throughout my career, but always forward thinking of what can I do now to better my future self? What can I sacrifice now to gain a skill that's going to serve me in the future? But I can't do that if I don't know who it is that I want to become. I always knew since I was a small kid that I was going to be a businessman. I was going to run a company. And so the things that I did, the actions that I took were always in line. I never knew when it was going to happen, but I knew it was. So I was able to to position myself and make strategic decisions that line my skill set with my mindset, which achieve the outcome. And that's what it's about, guys. If you want to take your career to the next level, whether that's upgrading your job into tech or starting a business, you got to be prepared to lead. It is going to be difficult to lead if you do not have high capacity. So that means if you are a person that is naturally unorganized, you need to address that before you try to lead because you're going to have to hold people accountable. And some people think that accountability is a negative word, and it is not. It is just saying, this is what we agreed to. Where is it? Or why did you not accomplish this on time? What can I do to help you hit the target next time? But if we got to keep having that conversation, then you got to go. So that, that's a different story. But you can't do that if you're not on top of your game. Organizational skills, time management, super important to be successful. And when you do those things, you can lead. You can transform your life, your career just through skills. And I'm not talking about having to go back and get some extra education or anything like that. It's really just taking a moment and reflecting and thinking about who is it that you want to become? And do I have the skill sets to do that right now? And if I do, why am I not?
And if I don't, how do I get the skill set or the experience to do that? Because you can do anything that you allow time for and that you put your mind to it. Don't let anybody discourage you from believing that at all. I'm living proof of it. I'm literally the only person in my family that does not have a college degree, but I have been able to accomplish my goals because I've been very decisive with the plan and how I was gonna reach them. And I know that you can do the same too. Let me know in the comments, what is your biggest takeaway from this? This change your mind on leadership, career development, business development? I'm interested, join the conversation. Well guys, if you didn't already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, so and also hit that bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.